And so he asked if we wanted to come go get lunch with him. So some stuff I got for the classroom and do a little tea moo haul. Um, Morgan just made it home, so we are gonna head to trivia now. What about the rain? Tell it, go away. Go away. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's get in the car. Okay guys, welcome back to the vlog. Morgan just called us from work and I guess he's having a slow day. And so he asked if we wanted to come go get lunch with him. So we are gonna head up there and find something to eat and have a little midday family date thing. So I'm excited. Hey, we're here. Okay. Love you. Bye. So you ready to go to lunch, babe? Let's go to lunch. Okay, where do we want to go? Uh, let's go get some heroes at Katusa Deli. I like the sound of that. What do you think? Yes, heroes? You don't know what a hero is, but you're in for a treat. Okay guys, so we ended up coming out to wait in the car while Morgan gets the food, because Arlo had a little bit of a freak out. Um, I think he thought we were gonna stay and eat with his dad when really we were just going to pick up the food and come back because he doesn't get a lot of time. He's the only person in this department. He doesn't even get to take a lunch, mostly. Um, so we were just running to get food and hanging out with him while we did that and then bringing him back. And I think when Arlo figured out that, uh, that we weren't staying, he also sort of figured out that, uh, dad was going back to work and we weren't going to get to hang out and that bummed him out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he said, mm-hmm. Um, and when Morgan got out of the car, he gave him the most sad bye dad ever. I mean, I started crying. Morgan started crying. It was sad. Um, but he just likes his daddy so much, and he was excited. Um, but you got to see daddy some, right? Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. better than nothing. And he'll be, he'll be home soon from work, okay? No. Oh. He's a sad boy, but we're gonna go home and eat our lunch. It looks so good. We'll see you guys in a bit. No, no. And you gotta calm down a little bit, okay? No, no. Well guys, it's back to the grindstone for me. Got a gyro, half a sandwich, a little bit of potato salad. It's gonna be delicious. You doing okay, buddy? Daddy will be home from work soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so that was really good. It was, um, we went to Katusa Deli, and it's like a sub shop, but they do their own gyros too, and they make all the stuff fresh in house. They do their own meat, um, homemade pitas, homemade bread for the subs. Um, I got the Philly cheesesteak sub and Morgan got the gyro and we split them and oh my gosh Just the softest pita bread. I've ever had it was so good and um, <clears throat> We got Arlo a baklava. He had already had a sandwich for lunch, so He's kind of pickier so we just went with the cheese sandwich at home because I know that's what he'll eat um, But he did try baklava for the first time. And he loved that 
Um, so that was great. And now we are just waiting for Morgan to get home because it's trivia night. So we're going to go play trivia. But I thought I would show you guys some stuff I got for the classroom and do a little tea moo haul. Um, you know, I'm working on this back bedroom. It is not ready yet, but I'm working on it for our homeschool classroom this year. And um, that'll be a separate video because there's a collaboration I'm doing. So I'm going to do a re reveal of our homeschool classroom um, when I get it finished. But I wanted to do a little uh, haul and show you some of the things I've been ordering from Timu for our homeschool classroom because I've been really impressed with the quality of stuff I've got. I was skeptical, you know, it's very, strikes me as wish and I'm sure to some extent it is, but I was skeptical about what I would be getting, but I feel like uh, what I've gotten is a lot better quality than the stuff I got off Wish when I would order there. So, um, I got, I've gotten some decor type stuff for his room, for his homeschool room, and then a few like learning activities and they're all pretty good quality. So the first thing I got was this rainbow banner thing. It's got, it's like made with yarn and it's got these little wooden beads. This on the window is not like it's permanent place. That's just where I hung it the other day for a little bit of color in the background of one of my videos. <coughs> so like that, sorry, my allergies are crazy still it has decided to be spring in Oklahoma I guess even though it's mid-July and we had hundred plus days before now um, now it's spring okay I'm gonna make this quick cuz Arlo is pounding at the door trying to get in and once he gets in there will be no doing this here is the first thing I got I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet but it is a wall decal for his wall hi Arlo So I think it'll look really cute. I've got two wall decals to go on the walls. Okay, here is the other decal that I got. And this is what it'll look like when it's all on the wall because it's out of order on the paper they sent. It says you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And then I got this little sign to hang on our door. You're amazing just the way you are. Talk about a miracle, I asked him to go in the living room and wait, and I would call him back in here, and he went. It doesn't always work that way. But that was pretty cool. Um, so those are the decor things that I've gotten for the room. I also have some other things that I already had that I'll be putting up. I'll be putting up the little rainbow sign from his bedroom from when it was his nursery, and a little painting that my friend Amy Pitchford did for him. Those will go up in his classroom. But here are some of the little learning toys slash games I got him. Okay, then the other thing I got him was this little wooden uh, cubism Picasso make your own face game um I thought it was super cute I may end up doing like a little if I can find a little storybook about Pablo Picasso I may do um a little unit unit about him but um I just thought it was good for like learning how to like roll the dice and do what the paper tells you to and put together a face and all that. So yeah, that's what you do. You roll the dice and you start with like the eyes. So I rolled a three so you'd find that eye. Okay, so it wasn't the color the picture showed. So that's why it took me a minute. But you'd put, put your eye on there. <coughs> and then you'd roll again. Two. You'd find the two nose, give it a nose. Okay, so the next thing I got him was this little container of beads for stringing. 
Um, they had a few different options you could choose from. Um, and each one had two sets of beads. So I chose the one that had animals and fruits and vegetables. But he has been working on um, bead stringing at OT. And he's doing really well. But I wanted to kind of continue it and help him along. So I got him these. And I think the pictures are adorable on them. They're painted really well. They are wooden. Which I like much better than plastic. So there's some of the animals. I think there's 36 beads in total so here are some of the fruit and vegetables got corn here we got, we got a tomato some broccoli dragon fruit all kinds of fun things and it comes with these little string ears for them to for him to put them on my only thing was is they didn't come with like a tie at the end and they just came right off but I double knotted at the end and now they're fine and I like that they come in this little carrying case and they were only like I want to say they were like five or six dollars but that's like a third of what they were on Amazon when I was looking at them so awesome Do you want to play with your beads? Okay, so the next thing I got him is this little Fry Guy game. So it comes with all these. It's a wooden, wooden fridge fry container. One side has a face. The other one says fries. And it has all these little wooden french fries that come in it. And on one end they have a color. And the other end, they have a face. It's red? It's red and a frowny face. Magma one. So, what you do is you take a card. comes with 20 questions, 10 cards that are double-sided. You take a card and you match... You match the card. So in this one, this first question, you have a red. And then what do you have? You have a green. So you need a green. One. And then what's the last one? Blue. So you take your red and your green and your blue and you match your card up. And some of them are faces. You have to find the faces. Some of them are a mixture. This one has all 10 in it. Some of them only, you know, like they're not all the same number. So I think that'll be really good for pattern recognition. He already knows his colors, but like recognizing and putting them in the right patterns and stuff. I thought that would be a fun little game for us to play. So that's my Timu haul. Um, there are still a few things I want to get for in here from Timu. I want to get um some sort of they make these like window film cling things to kind of um block out some of the sun from the windows um and just you know i don't have curtains on here so in lieu of curtains i want to get they make they're kind of rainbowy colored window clings i want to get to put on there um and then there are a few more little learning games i like i figure um those can be things that, you know, he plays independently with, maybe morning basket, that sort of thing. Um, so I want to pick up a few more of those things on my list, but Morgan just made it home. So we are going to head to trivia now. Okay guys, so we did not win. It happens sometimes. We gave it our best shot. We came close for best team name though. We were Almost. the Star Spangled Bruce Banners tonight. Came in second place for best team name. But that's the way it goes sometimes. It's still a fun night. Yeah, so now we're gonna head home and eat dinner. 
Um, but I think that's it for tonight. So if you guys like these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. And we'll see you later.